In the 1970s, the Soviet Union wasn't just planning to land on Mars. They were planning to drive a train across it. The problem with Mars is its scale. A lander is a prisoner trapped in one spot to explore a planet. You need to move. The Soviet solution was a Mars Expeditionary Complex, a colossal articulated land train, a mobile base for a crew of four cosmonauts, and it wouldn't be powered by solar panels. The plan called for an onboard nuclear reactor, giving the train unlimited range and power for months of exploration. Inside would be a fully pressurized mobile habitat, a laboratory, sleeping quarters, and a command center, all rumbling across the Martian desert. It was designed to be an unstoppable behemoth with articulated joints and a powered chassis that could cross canyons, craters, and vast fields of rock. The mission was pure science, a long duration roving expedition to search for water, life, and a foothold for humanity on another world. While NASA was planning small robotic rovers, the Soviet ambition was characteristically bold. Put a nuclear-powered train with a full crew on Mars. But the dream, like the Soviet crewed Mars program itself, was too expensive. The technology was too complex. The entire plan was quietly shelved. The Mars train was never built. It remains a magnificent lost future of exploration. A nuclear-powered ghost still waiting to leave its tracks in the red sand.